University of Maryland Extension is proud to present the Maryland Collaborative for Beginning Farmer Success. The goal of the Collaborative is to train and prepare beginning farmers to start successful agricultural businesses. It is a part of a larger USDA initiative to increase the number of beginning farmers and ranchers in the United States. University of Maryland Extension is the lead agency in the Beginning Farmer Success Project. As such, we help to coordinate efforts among our various partners and distribute information to our stakeholders and to USDA. University of Maryland Extension also leads the development of publications, videos, fact sheets, and other information sources that pertain to beginning a farm operation. The Maryland Collaborative utilizes educational workshops, an interactive website, farmer-to-farmer -farmer mentoring, and on-farm apprenticeships to increase the knowledge, experience, and success of beginning farmers. Participants can enter the program at any level. The, our Beginning Farmer Workshop Series are held throughout the state and offer folks interested in farming a five to seven week workshop on what they need to know to start farm enterprises. The success of this project is dependent upon the collaborative effort of our many partners across the state. These include Future Harvest CASA, University of Maryland Eastern Shore, and the Southern Maryland Agricultural Development Commission. Let's take a brief moment to look at the efforts of each partner. Future Harvest is a group of consumers, farmers, and other ag professionals in the Chesapeake region that are interested in food, growing food in a sustainable way that's good for the environment and that's economically sustainable for farmers. So they sort of pull together everybody interested in food, consumers, farmers, ag professionals, and what we do, we hold a lot of different kinds of events and training programs. We have workshops, we have field days, and we bring people together to try to help promote sustainable food systems in the Chesapeake region. We have 12 workshops. Every year we've had 12 workshops for the last few years. We have core topics that we cover we have extension people and farmers come and speak about our core topics to all of our attendees and our beginner farmer trainees attend these workshops also. So the new farmer trainees, they start at the conference, they go to the seed dinner, they do 9 to 12 workshops. After the workshop series, we start the hands-on training and that's when they go one day a week to a training farm and they work side by side with a farmer for the whole growing season. Often there's another trainee with them and they get a whole range of experience. The University of Maryland Eastern Shore Small Farm Institute was established in 2010 as a result of a partnership agreement with UMES and USDA Office of Advocacy and Outreach to implement an outreach initiative for limited resource and socially disadvantaged farmers here in Maryland. The purpose of it was to provide educational programs and trainings in a variety of ag-related subject matter, as well as making sure that they have fair and equal access to USDA farm programs and services. The Small Farm Institute would serve as a resource hub whereby farmers throughout the state of Maryland as well as the Delmarva Peninsula can come to facilities here on campus as well as the research farm to participate or receive outreach information on a variety of ag-related subjects in small farming. Since 2003, the University of Maryland Eastern Shore has hosted an annual small farm conference, which has really grown leaps and bounds over the past five years. This event alone has become a premier venue whereby farmers, landowners, or supporters of ag from all over the state and neighboring states have come together to network, to learn about new opportunities or strategies that will help promote farm profitability or sustainability. As part of our conference program last year, we developed part of the program an educational track entitled New and Beginning Farmer to support the increasing interest and demand in this area. This has proved to be very successful as we had overwhelming support 
uh, and participation in all of the sessions offered under this particular track. And as a result of this, we are looking to make this a permanent part of our conference program in future years. Southern Maryland Ag Development Commission is formed of a mix of farmers, uh, citizens, elected officials, and their job is to help farmers. So now the focus has been moving more towards land preservation and helping with the tradition. Access to land for beginning farmers was number one challenge, number one difficulty that they faced. So they asked the staff to look into the creation of a farm link program and they wanted that set up as a way that those who were seeking farmland would have a website that they could go to to find properties that were posted for sale or for lease. In the past year or so though, we've added the newest resource and that is the Maryland FarmLink Mentor Match Program. And that one is modeled after a very successful program we already have in Maryland and that is the Maryland Grazers Network. Well, the Mentor Match Program provides the opportunity for somebody who may now learn the trade to have somebody to talk to for an entire year as they're developing their business plan and actually working in the, the production of agriculture, somebody who knows more to talk to about that for advice. Our farm is actually two farms. We have our home farm, which is where we are now. So this is where we live, and it's the smaller of the two farms. It's only about a tenth of an acre. And we first broke ground on this farm about two years ago. And then starting the beginning of this season, we're going to be farming an additional four acres. So we grow hops, seasonal vegetables, we have laying hens. And yeah, we're just getting started out. This is gonna be our first season, and we're excited to get rolling on it. We're gonna be hiring two people full time, and then my wife's a teacher, and during the summer, she's gonna be helping out. This year, we're already doing three farmers markets, and we have our CSA membership up to about a dozen people. We'd like to get 20 CSA members, so that's kind of a goal that we have not, not met yet. We'll be in a few different restaurants, and then a couple little side markets as well. The goal is really to make, make enough money to pay the bills and kind of scratch by and really get our feet on the ground, make a lot of mistakes and learn a lot. And then next year really focus on growing the business.